Hello everyone, my name is Rumatente. As you generally know, I make Tulia videos, but I am actually a dual OTP, so basically I play Tulia and Pantheon, and today we're going to do a Pantheon mid slash top guide. I generally play Pantheon top, but he's strong uh, on mid lane as well. This is going to be a lane Pantheon guide, so not a support. I really dislike playing him support, and on patch 8.25 it is already stated that he will be shifted towards the lane pantheon more so if you want to learn more about builds and runes this is going to be the video which i will explain we're going to go through this and then we're going to do a full game probably a solo queue in grandmaster game now i want to say to some things before we start the video i generally like to test items so this build might be unusual might be not what you exactly expect for and we're going to go through everything but if you want to see abilities if you want to see combos if you want to see maybe matchups and stuff like that for lane pantheon refer please to my pantheon in under nine minutes guide in which i go through everything besides the item and runes because obviously this has got, these are going to be updated a bit so we're going to start with runes i'm playing with conqueror when you're playing mid and top you don't play with what you play on support which is press the attack on top and mid you play with conqueror you play with triumph you play with Legend Alacrity or Legend the Tenacity one and you go for Cup the Grace here. Basically, uh, Legend Alacrity will be picked here instead of Tenacity. I'm going to show you because we're going to play with Blade of the Ruined King first item because I really like that and we're going to see why this is the best option. If you are against a lot of CC, Tenacity works as well, okay? For secondary, you have options. You can go either for Biscuit Delivery and Time Warp Tony because we always start with Corrupting and uh, you can also pick from the uh, sorcery tree, you can get Nimbus and you can get Transcendence because it's very strong, it's a very strong rule right now, but I really like the lane pantheon, lane kingdom pantheon with Biscuit Delivery Time or Tonic. On top, I'm playing with Ignite always and also on mid and I hate having any other summoner spells, so please, please pick it because I believe it's the strongest play with Teleport. Most matchups will feel awful because pantheon doesn't scale, so your job will be to scale from early to mid game into a better... Uh, into a better transitioning if you int early on pantheon you don't really have excuses if you have biscuits and you don't use them you can actually sell them to get gold i see this mistake a lot people using biscuits for no reason when they could just simply sell it all right so we went through the runes uh we go now through to the build phase i start with corrupting i'm gonna i made here an item set i'm gonna sell this because they annoy me sorry okay i start with corrupting right and then we go for blade of the Red king first you're gonna ask why this item and not a mythic well i've actually researched and i've seen it on the internet this item might work okay i, I was like hmm if this item works i'm gonna test it against all other mythics and i actually put here a doom dummy right i added resistances to 17 uh, armor and to to 70 armor and 1300 hp which is basically the stats of a camille a level 9 camille or fiora basically opponents on top because this is where i'm playing right and these are the most common matchups fiora camille tanks and stuff like that you have some armor minimum 70 and like i put uh, blade of the ruined king and then i put all other uh, mythics uh, eclipse i put as a first item instead I put Prowler's Crow, I put Divine Sunderer, Dusk Blade, I've tried all of them. And be before um, you say anything, out of all of the Mythics and other Legendary items, this item was actually first in damage. I could not get the results of this damage from the items, because the attack speed is pretty well stacking with the Mistage passive and the Siphon passive. And your uh, full stack W, as you can see here, will instantly proc it all of the time. And you will have huge DPS. This this dummy doesn't have the stat that I talked about. But this item is actually the best on first buy. Now, I propose here a different uh, continuation of this build. Obviously, for boots, you want generally magic resist boots or merc threads because you want to be more tanky but for the third item which will be your actual mythic i suggest here something else in eclipse which you might see on most people i don't suggest gore drinker but you can try it i suggest prowler claw and dusk blade on mid lane where you don't where you actually don't need to have uh, off tankiness basically on top you can't really go these two unless you're on against an ap top which kites you you can't go Prowler Claws too much because you will have two items, you have Blade, you will have Prowler Claws which gives AD and if you recall in the past, in the general times where we played last season, Pantheon needed something like Black Cleaver second, something that gives HP, that gives HP or Ability Haste or, or Armor Pen. 
And in this context, we won't go something that does not have HP. So our options remain God Drinker, Divine Sanderer, and Sunfire Aegis. <laughs> yeah, you heard me right. Now, I've seen people play with uh, God Drinker. I didn't like it that much. I've seen Divine Sanderer. I didn't like it either. This is good in the meta where there are lots of tanks, so this might work against lots of tanks. But I personally enjoy having Sunfire second. And I'm gonna tell you why, and I'm gonna show you why. Basically, Pantheon transitions mid game into a tank because he has bad scalings. So after a certain point, if you're not extremely fed, or even if you are, you'd want to not give the bounty, or you want to not die randomly or too fast when you ult, and you'd want to have this extra tankiness and this AOE damage, which is in, which is insane. The Sunfire Ages is pretty insane in this patch. So I'm going actually for this item. And we're going to test it in a ranked game again. I tested it and I liked it. But if you feel that it's not good, you can go for Divine Sunder. Or you can go for Gorginker, but I don't like it that much. So basically on top, your mythic will be either Sunfire or Divine Sunder. Or even Dusk Blade or Prowler's Call if you need to catch people on mid. I also think of Dusk Blade and Prowler's Call. This item to reach people, this item to assassinate them faster. But generally, I'd probably still go for Sunfire because of how busted it is. Right? Okay. Uh, we also consider the fact that these items receive no nerfs, o only Eclipse I think gets nerfed and Blade of the King gets nerfed in 8.24. On 24 of November this will lose 10% or 5% attack speed, something like that. It's do it doesn't matter. Sunfire got already changed so it won't get nerfed and in the next patch, 8.25, which will be in like December somewhere, uh, Pantheon will get shifted to lane, I don't know the changes. But these items will ensure currently the best uh, survivability. and. You generally need only this and the boots, which is a lot of gold. You already be level 12 or 13 or 14 before you get Sunfire probably, because it's take it takes a lot of of time to stack this. I'm not sure if I predicted the, the level right, but it takes a lot of time. And by the time you buy this, I don't think Divine Sunderer will be that useful, honestly. I don't think Divine Sunderer will be that useful. I don't think Gold Drinker will be that that useful odd, and other items. And let's continue with this theoretical build. Please don't kick me game. Okay, the next after that, let's see, we have two more spots, stop attacking that. What else could we buy? Where generally we like on Pantheon something like Death Dance after this. So that's why Divine Sunderer Mark work, it might stack with Death Dance, so you gotta choose. But I would pick Death Dance here, and then I would go for something like Gargoyle Stone Plate uh, or Thornmail. Yeah, so this would be a build, this would be a full build example. Basically, Blade of Red King, to uh, Boots, uh, Sunfire, and then either Thornmail, Death's Dance, or Gargoyle Stone Plate. You can also go for Randuins if you feel like it, but I believe this is the best uh, items that you could full build that you could go for. And why is that? Well, because when you ult, you are very predictable in most top to bottom fights. And you would like to ult somewhere, right? You would like to cast ult into a fight and actually have time to survive. And Tank items do offer you that. And now you're not only going to deal tons of damage with uh, Blade of Druid King and Sunfire and Death's Dance, you're also going to have a, an insane shield that you can press right after the engage if you go for this. Or if you go to third item that, you'd be a lot a lot tankier, but you can go Death's Dance for a lot of damage and stuff like that. But generally, first item matters most of Blade of Druid King. And then you could go for second item, uh, well, Boots, and then uh, third item Sunfire or uh, Divine Sunderer. Or even Pro Scroll if you play mid. I believe this Sardian or, or Dusk Blade. But I like this most because it's the most uh, easy pick to get. It's the most simple thing. It's very hard for enemies to kill you. You have this uh, immolation around you. You can lock down targets. You have a lot of ability haste. Uh, you got the, well, the uh, 15 ability haste. Sorry, it's not a lot. It's something. And this combination of items are actually allowed to be the tank into the mid to late game that you need to be because you need to transition from an assassin to a bruiser if you're not enough tank in the season 11 meta you're actually trolling pretty much because you've seen how these champions uh, are into this current patch i do not believe of uh, i do not believe uh, squishy champions are that good right now so top laners maybe cannon maybe ap champions that deals lots of aoe damage but generally you've seen that tanks are pretty strong right now and because you play with Ignite and you have Blade and uh, the Sunfire Dot, you also have kill potential on pretty much everyone in the game. And this item allows you to fight tanks. Obviously, if you feel like you need to deal more damage to tanks, you can go Divine Sunder. But again, I told you I like more the, finish, uh, the tankiness from the Sunfire Ages and also the Magic Resist, the Armor, and uh, yeah, the Immolate stacks. I enjoyed them. 
Okay, so these are these are the items that we'd wanted to talk about. This is the general build, the combos I've talked to in the past. Please refer again to my uh, to my Pantheon uh, guide, uh, Pantheon under nine minutes. I'm gonna max Q then W, obviously then E. Uh, you might max E second if you feel like you need to be more tanky. I like to max W to catch people more often. And in general, all you gotta do early on is to be careful into the lane phase. To get ganked and to not die to it. When you, the enemy jungler comes, you have to survive the gank, right? Because if you don't do that, you're not going anywhere. Let me just check if there are any points that I have a list of them into a file. Okay. So we talked about the runes, alternatives, builds. Yeah, I think this is everything. Alright, so we're gonna do probably another video in patch 8.25 to Where see how the changes make him work and let's jump right into a ranked game and see how this feels also yeah i forgot every single time you recall if you want to be higher elo just buy control words if you go to opgg on west on na on korea on china i don't think there is a china opgg but yeah you're going to see into the ladder of top players that most of them besides on every role they have at least four to five vision words per game you gotta buy control words after every recall and in mid games even more because it allows you to start controlling this side of the river more if the game is even or the enemy jungle if you're ahead or your jungle if you're behind and whenever your team doesn't buy them it just sets you back so while you do have a good item to pick you could just buy it but if you have extra gold you can get a control word aim at least for two three vision words at the beginning and then start start to climb to three four five as you reach up higher elos this is the the part of the guide where we switch to the uh to the uh ranked game i will try to play against masters and grandmasters right now on top lane this will be a top lane guide or even on mid if i'm uh, a cute top mid but on mid i believe it's actually stronger than top depends on the comp it depends a lot of the comp but if you go tank you should uh, secondary tank theon like after uh, after blade if you go for these items i believe you have the chances to be on par with the main tanks of the game with the main off tanks and with even the bruisers to deal with them easier i'm gonna exit now and we'll see, see you into the game right now guys let's move it so here we are guys into the game we're going to play on top in ranked in grandmaster against the mostly full ap comp so magic resist mag threads and stuff like that could become useful and we're going to be against kyle with uh, with press the attack the strong kyle she's still strong she'll get nerfed only uh, only in like six days five days or something like that when the next patch hits and so we want to test that build but i'm thinking that we're not against any tanks this game i'm not sure I might go to I might go tank it just just for the sake of it, but I would replace I would go maybe Blade of Red King Merc Treads. I would go after that for the Sunfire and move something like towards something like Force of Nature. I think that's an item, yeah. And yeah, let's move towards top because I apparently I defended for our mid by the reflex. And I'm thinking of itemization, but I'm still thinking that the blade would work in this context instead of eclipse or something else and that's mainly because i tested that burst and it works best it gives the most the most burst and on lane we should be fine after six uh, we should still be able to kill her up until level 10 but if we go tank we should survive more because she doesn't have any knowledge that's why sunfire would be a good option and also because these champions all want to come in our melee range besides their bot lane and i think yeah i'm most it's most likely that lila started top we're gonna do here a full q and we're gonna try to jump on her okay slowly pushing on q here i lost a minion but i did poke kind of hit the pantheon because he yells in my ears but this is what it is come on you wanna come close i'm gonna make level two out of this hopefully mid lane one tint and I expect, I fully expect a Katarina, uh, a Lila top. I fully expect, but if I turn on the Lila and cast a goodie, I miss that yes. Then we should be, we should be decent. Okay, that's also quite amazing. I also expect Lila to be around here or top. If she comes top, I don't think I have. Uh, any risks of dying especially now also i have all my three abilities 
I should be fine because they should they want to jump into this whole wave and Grace is also nearby so I'm just gonna auto this okay and now now I'm going towards this gonna work here and I'm gonna go towards uh, towards me I will roam like this a lot and I will try to do this often because I push the wave into the tower there and so yeah let me just help you with this and we could also move towards here because she has no she has no alert there I haven't lost much like some CS but it's okay okay And this worked nicely. Kyle flashed. I'm gonna show up. No, I wanted I wanted to steal uh, some experience to get level up here. I can still I can still move. But she has a word. I am under leveled here. Uh, she has a word there. Okay, if you hit her, she's dead. Okay, that was simple enough. It is not wise. Ah, I wanted to cast ult as well. But I'm not sure why why they are running it down like that. I'll take that because you're gonna miss it. Eh, okay. I'm just gonna ult top because I don't wanna miss so much CS. And this is fine for me. Also gonna get this and that. Yep, the game goes to use Ignite whenever you are setting yourself up for a kill. Okay. She has ult. Nah, 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 don't, don't. Okay. She had ult! She had ult! Why is she in thing? I'm gonna get two stacks here. Okay, we see. What that? What? Yeah, it's over. We won. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to be able to showcase you guys the uh, the item spikes because well, we played pretty much perfectly. Get another plate here. Back off. Take you. She has ult. And please, 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 please. Okay. Uh, yeah, it's good. It's good. Whew. That was a long bait. I knew he would be coming, but man. to take it from bot okay and enough time for recall as well okay we move towards boots we select here merc threads we also get two vision words and we have all in 15 seconds yeah it's fair she has a point yes fair enough my bad Yeah, he's right. If he would, if we would have used there, that, uh, we would have taken first tower. But we could just alt bot. We could just create other points of pressure somewhere else. a Katarina that comes but let's hope you can do damage control uh, I want to cast I want to cast my W 
Katarina nie jestem tylko Hearthstar. Also for two versus one here. I'm not sure I will be able to win, but at least the kill I should be able to get. And I have flash. I am up to a Lila ult, but I hope I get this blade before I back off. Yeah, good. Good. And Drake is also coming. And I will take this. Please don't steal it. Don't be a dick. Don't be a dick. Thank you. Put a vision worth here so we ensure they. Nice. Thank you, Draven, for the ult. That Draven ult uh, basically. Now, whenever you play with Blade of the Ruined King, try to have it stacked. Currently, okay, I can ult. I ulted out of precaution. I didn't need necessarily to catch someone. I just ulted instantly, and you should too. Mm, I can't. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. You should try to ult it like this for precaution reasons. Because it should assist you. Man, that trash hook. Jesus Christ, that's so strong. Alright, 504. This is against Grandmasters as far as I'm aware. Hopefully. Well, I'm Masters at 80 LP or something like that. But I truly like Pantheon like this. I truly enjoy Pantheon like this, which is gonna hurt them. Wait, just wait, someone is going to come. No, back off, back off, back off. We're fine, we're fine. Get that and run away. We have to back off now. We have to back off. Or we can just eat. Why not? Ugh. Okay. Luckily, Trash is a god. This guy is not. I think I have time to get this before. She's miles away. She's. Okay. I missed the Q. It's fine. You see, normally I should have died to that Katarina. If I went for something else than tank item, I would have likely died there into the CC burst or something. But not really though, because she's not fed. But she would have been fed. God damn it, I can't. Can't find a reason. This item is good. I want to prove it. <laughs> All right, and I'm behind this. Yes, I'm ahead in levels. That's standard, to be honest. Okay, this should be. This should be. Get the tower. Get the tower. 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 Okay. Okay, we just did it. Uh, Silas might kill someone. Uh, Draven. Draven. You know you have to hit tower first. Yes. And we just... We didn't lose Baron, but we rush it. That was in from all of us, and... It's not. We win. I'm an alt Baron. Go. 
Silas to be. Stand back out. I never did it with you. I'm going in. I have to. Silas. Oh god. Okay, kill whoever you can. Silas is strong. Silas is strong. You can kill them all. You can kill them all. Whew. That saves us. But you can see that <laughs> this kind of thing loses you. Nice. Okay, that's bad. You're dead. here if she's back uh, I thought Silas wouldn't go this far I don't think we can end no. we can't but we can get Drake get Drake before Kata comes this guy ain't it this my eyes Man. the other guy ain't it more Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. I can keep him away. Uh, it's fine, we got soul. Good. Draven! Lots of bursts, to be honest. Yeah, never mind, we won. Because she, she ran it down there. But we still can die if they turn on to that. Fresh flash. Nice. Okay, and now we can end. You can see that. <laughs> Super I don't think so. I really don't think so. I think Jenna is pretty decent. I think it's pretty much jungle diff. Generally, who says it's diff? It's, it's bad. Man, stop it. Katarina is up. We could likely still try to. Okay. Okay. Yeah, we're losing this. We're losing this and Baron as well. He's running it down again. <sighs> okay. And now we go for the magic resist. It's a bit late, but uh, as far as I know, there isn't a magic resist focused Sunfire item. Yeah, this one would be, but the Sunfire is too strong. Okay. Where is Force of Nature? And we can actually lose here. Can you? Not. Yeah, he's. I think he's dead. Oh god. And I think I hinted it too by ulting this. Nice, yeah, fine. Backed off. I know, I know. I backed off. They wouldn't. They wouldn't actually. My, man, they, why is he running it down like that? It's so tempting to do it. 
Okay, do it, do it. Katarina bot, Katarina bot, Katarina. No. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Do it. They, are, they are worse than us. If they lose this Baron by this action, they are worse than us. And likely we get it for free because they are shit. Trolling us. Just go before he ends. Go before he ends. I mean, he's legit the only one keeping us from winning. And you can see the farm difference now on top because I literally went for fighting all the time. And, okay. That was good bait. Random but very good bait. And we won. We should have won at this. Unless we are. Anything hard here, we should end. But man, this got so much more stressful than it should have. And yeah, you should you should definitely keep farming. Uh, casting here so that we don't die. Get the Janna. And are we losing this? Holy shit, we're losing this 4 versus 5. Scaling. I have this ready, but last chance is Elder. The only problem is that Draven kept the game long enough by his random random. I have no I did not. Oh. Okay, never mind. Let's ignore that. Let's try to Yeah, this is the typical chat experience that you're going to have regardless of how good you play. And yeah, I'm two levels behind now. Cause Kyle just farmed while I tried to end the game three times in a row. We could probably backdoor it while they do elder. Theoretically, we should fight only if we catch one. We can lose this. Okay. Stack it up. Stack it up. There's going to be a. Uh... Yeah, that's. Half flash. I think we lost. Yeah, we lost. Oh my freaking god. Draven gave them the game. I suppose that's the game, guys. I stood on the lane, it wouldn't have made a difference. That's the funny thing. <sighs> All of those because I inted when Draven inted. I guess that's the game. <laughs> Thank you for watching. And that's not a very good example, but what can we do? Happens. See you next time, guys. Goodbye.